Throat is programmed to defend against hostile. Little Big Adventure from Adeline, the same people who designed Alone in the Dark, has you trying to defeat Dr. Funfrock and his clones in an effort to save your girlfriend and the world. Hey, all in a day's work. The game is certainly big enough. There's an entire planet to explore with 40 different multi-screen locations and 50 explorable buildings. To help you get about a little more quickly, there are even various vehicles to be acquired. Not that traveling is always a breeze, the ferry journey in particular turns our hero green, and the sea is not the only thing heeding. The evil Dr. Funfrock rules the planet with an iron hand, and life in this police state isn't getting any better. In fact, Twinson, that's you, the good guy, has had a dream warning him that unless something is done about Dr. Funfrock's evil machinations, the planet will perish. So you have to get out of the asylum on Citadel Island without being killed by the overzealous doctors. As you would expect, the graphics and animation are superb. You have four modes, normal for walking and collecting things, athletic for running and jumping, aggressive for kicking the shit out of opponents, and discreet for general skulking. The way the characters move is different for each mode, and when hit or hitting, the result is amazingly realistic and painful. With well over 40 hours of playing time, rarely does a game arrive that combines technical innovation with diverse gameplay. My only gripe is the save game feature, which saves automatically when you move into certain areas. This gives you no choice as to when you want to save and limits the number of lives you have. That aside, Little Big Adventure is quite unlike anything else and well worth the effort. Brodebon have yet again done themselves proud following the success of Ruff's Bone with their latest living book for children, Harry's Haunted House. The basic objective is the same. A short book is presented page by page, with a child's voice speaking as the captions are displayed on the screen. Each page has cartoon animations plus the now familiar hotspot gag that allows children to click on various items and produce entertaining effects. The plot doesn't stretch the imagination too much. Harry and his friends lose their ball in the haunted house. Ghosts, skeletons, things that go bump in the night, and more lurk around every corner. Design-wise, it's a pleasant package, the overall effect being to entertain and improve coordination and computer skills, rather than an aid to reading. By layer. Anterior cutaneous.